Here I want to analyze a um, supercritical pitchfork bifurcation. Um, so the normal form for the supercritical pitchfork bifurcation is uh, x dot dx dt equals rx minus x cubed. Okay, So let's see how this bifurcation works. Let's look first at the uh, fixed points. So the right-hand side equals 0. So we can factor out the x. So x times r minus x squared equals 0. So the fixed points here is equal to x equals to 0. Or r minus x squared equal to 0. So uh, x squared equals r. So x is equal to um, plus or minus the square root of r, right? So this one is uh, valid for all r. But here, are these two fixed points, uh, r has to be positive, right? So this is only valid for r, or at least non-negative, r greater than or equal to 0. The fixed points coincide at r equals 0, OK? So when r is negative, we just have one fixed point at 0. And then as r crosses through 0, then we generate two additional fixed points. So we have three fixed points when r is uh, positive. OK, what about the stability of the fixed point? So we call this right-hand side f of x. So uh, let's see, f of x is rx minus x cubed. And to determine the stability, we need to look at the derivative of the right-hand side. So f prime of x equals r minus 3x squared. Um, we have at 0, this is equal to r. So we have stable if f prime is negative, so stable for r less than 0, and unstable for r greater than 0. So the x equals 0 fixed point uh, is uh, stable for negative r, and then becomes unstable for positive r. OK, what about the other two fixed points? So x equals plus or minus square root of r. So f prime at plus or minus root r. This is equal to r minus 3x squared. So that becomes x squared just becomes r. r minus 3r is minus 2r. OK, so when r is negative, uh, well, r is negative, there is no fixed point, right? No fixed point. So this is only valid for, uh, this is only a fixed point for positive r. So we only have one case to consider. So when r is positive, then f prime of this fixed point is um, negative. So this is stable, right? Stable for um, R positive, right? Greater than 0. So this, the 0 fixed point became unstable for R greater than 0. But then these two new fixed points that are created are stable for r greater than 0. OK. So let's draw some graphs to see what's going on here. So I'm going to draw three graphs. And we're going to plot uh, x dot versus x.
and this is going to be for uh, negative r at the bifurcation point r equals zero and for positive r okay and remember our function is x dot equals rx minus x cubed okay so when r is negative we have um, only one fixed point which is at zero and this is a cubic uh, equation um, the slope of this uh, function at x equals 0 is uh, r, which is negative, so it's decreasing. So it looks something like this. Okay, there's one fixed point down here, so let me draw that at r equals 0. And then uh, if, if we're at um, negative values of x, x dot is positive, so we're increasing. And if we're at positive values of x, x dot is negative, so we're decreasing. So this one fixed point is stable. Okay, one fixed point is stable. Okay, so what happens at r equals 0 minus x cubed? So this one has a slope of 0 here, but still only one fixed point. So it's looking like this, right? Sorry about the wiggles here. And um, we have a one fixed point here at the origin. And it's the same looking graph. So we're going in, in. So in fact, the origin is still stable here, still stable. OK, then when r becomes positive, now we have two fixed points. We have a fixed point on this side and a fixed point on this side. Um, when x is negative, it's shooting out to infinity. So how do we get, and we also have a fixed point at the origin. So what happens to this cubic now is we come in, we go around and out. So now the cubic has three fixed points, right? Three fixed points. And um, we can draw them in here, three fixed points. And what about the stability? On the left of the first fixed point, x dot's positive, so we're moving this way. In the middle here, x dot's negative, so we're moving this way, positive to the right, negative to the left. So this fixed point here, when we move away, we move back. When we start away, we move back. This is stable, and this is stable. And now the middle fixed point is unstable. OK? So what has happened in this bifurcation? When r is negative, we have one fixed point at the origin, which is stable. r goes through 0. It's still stable. But then when r becomes positive, then this one stable fixed point becomes unstable and you generate two symmetric stable fixed points on both sides. Okay? So let's draw the uh, bifurcation diagram. So we're plotting now x star, the fixed point, versus the bifurcation parameter r. And we have x star equals 0 is stable when r is negative. And then when r is positive, this fixed point becomes unstable. So I'll draw it as dashed. And two new fixed points are created at r equals 0 that go as the square root of r, plus or minus the square root of r. And um, so I can draw them in here and they are both stable, so both solid line. So this is called a supercritical pitchfork bifurcation. Supercritical pitchfork 
bifurcation. The pitchfork is because this looks like a pitchfork, right? The middle prong and two side prongs. The supercritical, super, is because the um, prongs here are above the critical point. The bifurcation point is sometimes called a critical point. So when the prongs, these prongs are lying above the critical point, we call it a supercritical uh, bifurcation, or here a supercritical pitchfork bifurcation. Okay.